Hi there, this is Jill coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. We're not in the kitchen today, but we're down in the shop. We were processing chickens today for other people. And um, I thought of a couple frequently asked questions that we could address today. Um, the first frequently asked question that we'll talk about is, can we eat old stew hens? And the answer is absolutely. Um, for this fella, I'll show you how we can tell the difference to, um, when we're processing, there's a world of difference between an old hen and a rooster, or the laying birds, and the meat birds. Um, you can see right here, this is a meat bird, obviously, these are two. You see the nice big breast on there? These two roosters, we did a bunch of hens today too, but they were already packaged, so I'm not going to show you hens. You can see they have this big keel bone here, and much smaller breasts. Right there. Um, these birds were developed to grow fast and quick. They process really easily. And the boneless, skinless breast on these is what you're used to seeing in a store. These birds are going to have a lot more flavor. I have no idea how old that rooster in the back is. This one, I was figuring out, is about nine months old. He was hatched sometime last summer, and now it's May. Um, I just didn't want him breeding my hens. Uh, we're going to hatch a bunch of eggs. We've got a couple broody hens, and so he needed to go. He'll be a very tasty dinner. They're older. Anytime you have an older animal, and it doesn't matter if it's a chicken, a cow, a pig, a sheep, whatever, uh, or goat, they have a lot more flavor to them. Sometimes that's good, sometimes not, but it is what it is. They're more mineralized, so there's a lot more health benefits to eating the older, uh, older birds or older animals. Um, the drawback is sometimes they can be tougher. These guys are about seven to eight weeks, the meat birds. Um, they're still babies. They haven't even hit puberty yet. They're still baby birds, but they're going to be very tender. Uh, these guys, they've hit maturity, but um, for whatever reason they needed to go, they're going to have a lot more flavor. On the other hand, they're a little tougher. These guys, being real babies, are very tender. These guys, we're going to cook them low and slow. That's kind of the uh, rule of thumb for any homegrown meats um, compared to store meats. Because store meats, they raise them really fast. Uh, in the store, you'll see them this big. They have them there by five weeks. And, you know, what they have to do to do that, you don't even want to know. But... That's how they do it. So they're super tender, plus they pump them full of all sorts of stuff that you also don't want to know um, to help improve that tenderization and compensate for the lack of flavor. Uh, these birds, you'll have flavor you won't believe. These are also the kind of bird that uh, grandma's chicken soup that would fix all your ills, this was the bird. Um, you can see their skin is different. On this one in particular, uh, these heritage birds, or the, the layer breeds, are known for their yellow fat. Um, and there you go. That's a prime example right there. This guy, he wasn't as fatty. He was a little bit leaner breed, which is why I didn't want him breeding my hens. I wanted a bigger, heavier rooster, but um, he still is much more yellow. You can see they have a lot more color than these monster baby birds. So that's the difference between a meat bird and a heritage bird or a laying bird um, as far as how they look and the whys and wherefores. You can cook up these roosters though and those old laying hens. Um, we had someone ask about raising heritage breeds for just for meat. We've done it before. Uh, we raised a whole pile of heritage roosters, heritage breeds, and they were great again for flavor and color. Um, their meat is a lot redder. But you do want to just give them their great crockpot bird. Um, the old hens that we processed today, people are going to can up. So then you've got a quick meal of ready-to-go chicken. Um, you just give them a little longer, a little slower, uh, lower heat, so you don't cook them to death, because then they'll be like shoe leather. But um, it can be done, and they are superior eating. So that's the story on chickens today. This is Jill coming to you from Baker's Green Acres in the Farmstead Kitchen.